Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 15th tutorial in the series of tutorials on shell programming. In this tutorial, we're going to check out three important commands. The first one is the man command. Now, I have my terminal opened up and uh, what if I forget about uh, a command? What if I forget how to use a command? What if I wish to know more about a command? What if I have forgotten the options that come along with the command? Man is basically the help repository of Unix that you can access in such cases. Uh, if suppose I wish to know about the cat command, then I can simply type in man space cat at my terminal and press the enter key. And there you go, you see that the dollar prompt has uh, been suspended and the man page of cat command opens up and you have uh, the name here and uh, description and also the synopsis. Now you can here find all the options that uh, come with the cat command. As you can see we've discussed very few and uh, you can also find examples here and then uh, you can uh, see the names of people who have contributed in making the man page and you can find all sorts of other information. So the man command is basically what you use to see manuals that come along with the uh, commands. Each and every Unix command has its own man page and all the man pages are corrected in a directory in the file system. Uh, so that's it about man and if you want to return to your uh, dollar prompt then what you have to do is you have to press the key Q and if I press Q here then uh, I get my prompt back and um, the shell behaves as if nothing really happened. So that's about man. The next command that we're going to check out is the banner command. Now banner is used to well, well you know generate fancy text. If I type in banner and if I type in uh, something like uh, I am uh, a bad programmer something of that sort and if I press in the enter key then you see that I get uh, this text display in the form of uh, hashes and I is here you cannot see the uh, well the upper bar of I, I would have to scroll up my screen slightly to, to uh, help you guys see it. So there's I for you and then am a bad programmer. So that's what banner does. Now you can see that wherever I uh, placed space in the sentence that I want wanted to print, banner uh, interpreted the space as a new line. Now if you want to avoid that then what you can do is let me first clear the terminal for you. You can type in banner and whatever thing you wish to uh, display on screen you can put it within double quotes. That would tell banner that what you're going to get as an argument now is a single phrase or a sentence so don't split it up on uh, multiple lines. Now uh, if I type in something like uh, bye bye and press enter you see that it's being displayed on a single line and I have my space character in here. But the limitation with this form of uh, displaying is that banner only displays 10 characters on a line no matter what the size of your terminal is. So if I would use uh, anything more than 10 characters like uh, you know uh, what should I put here the bad tutorials which is the name of my channel you see that I just have the space bad which makes for 7 characters space that makes 8 and tu which in total makes 10 characters so that's uh, the limitation with uh, using double quotations now that's enough about banner it's a command that I don't think uh, we'll be using at all in future but you know it exists so I just spoke spoke about it uh, the last command that we're going to check out in this tutorial is the compress command now what I have done is that uh, I have created a text file I basically wanted to create a file with uh, not one sentence or two but with quite a lot of text so I just went to the wiki page of Unix and I copied this text from there in my file and it's called test file and I currently have it in my home directory. Now I'll show you guys the properties of this file. It has a size of uh, 1915 bytes and it's a plain text document and it's in my home folder. Okay cool. Now if suppose I want to reduce the size of this file from 1915 bytes to you know anything less than that 
the command that I use is compress now I type in compress at the terminal that's with double s and uh, I'll use the option hyphen V which basically means that after the command has been executed the shell will display a message uh, about the percentage of uh, compression that it has achieved and then I'll type in the name of my file which is test and I type in sorry press the enter key and I see that compress displays this message to me test has been replaced with test sort Z and the compression uh, achieved is 35.77 percent what this means is if I would go in my home directory I see that firstly the icon of my file has changed the name of my file has changed from test to test.z and if I would see the properties of this file then you can see that the size now is no longer 1915 bytes what but is 1230 bytes so that's a significant amount of uh, compression that you've achieved now if suppose I wish to view this file then I cannot simply use my uh, cat file anymore sorry cat command anymore if I try to use it then I just get non printable characters but there is a way uh, around that you can use zcat and uh, well let me first clear the terminal and uh, if you use uh, zcat and type in the name of the file which is test.z and press the enter key you see that you get your text file uh, text back and uh, if you want to convert your file back from the compressed version to the uncompressed version then the command to use is uncompress I type in uncompress then uh, the name of my compressed file if I press the enter key nothing really shows up but I can uh, go back to my home folder and see that my file's name has been restored the icon has been restored and in the properties you can see that it has the same size as before so there you go those uh, were the commands that I kept for this tutorial three of them and all three important man being the most important and uh, you'll be relying on it heavily so please make a note of it and it's easy to remember I don't think any of you will ever forget uh, how to use man it's the most simple simple command to use and uh, that's it for now I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and hopefully in the next tutorial we'll begin our discussion on shell programming and uh, we'll probably even create our first shell script so see you guys in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel